Hi, my name is Julia. I'm from Northwestern University. I'm at the RWCS meeting. And I would like to tell you about my research. The aim of this study was to evaluate the efficacy of rituximab as rescue therapy in treatment refractory CTD ILD. We identified patients with a diverse phenotype of CTD ILDs from the University of Chicago ILD registry from 2008 to 2018. These patients fell into the following three groups based on the treatments they have received, which includes prednisone alone, a DMARD plus minus prednisone, and lastly, rituximab plus minus a DMARD plus minus prednisone. Table 1 shows you the baseline characteristics of the patients in these three groups. It is not too unsurprising that the FVC value was the lowest at 52% in the rituximab treatment group. Figure 1 shows you the changes um, in the lung function before and after treatment, with time 0 being defined as the time of initiation of treatment. As you can see here, amongst the three groups, starting from time zero and going forward, there appears overall to be a stabilization to slight improvement in the FVC or force vital capacity in all three groups, with the rituximab treatment group shown here in yellow, showing the most amount of improvement in the FVC. Based on this interesting finding, and then further looked at the treatment group um, of rituximab uh, group uh, in more detail. Uh, as you can see here across these four graphs, the um, conclusion of these results shows that overall, in response to rituximab treatment, there appears to be a stabilization to very slight improvement in the FVC and DLCO in these patients. However, rituximab appears to have not affected the oxygen requirement or the dyspnea scale uh, during a six-minute walk test. In conclusion, these uh, results suggests that rituximab may be an effective rescue therapy in treatment refractory CTD ILD patients and begs the question of whether rituximab should be used earlier uh, for these patients instead of waiting until using it as rescue therapy. Um, I think further subgroup analysis based on gender, race, as well as the underlying CTD diagnosis would be more uh, very helpful as well as, as, well as a longer follow-up duration. Thank you very much.